Thanks for joining me guys. Today I'm going to tie the glass minnow. I'm going to start by wrapping your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook here. This is a very simple fly to tie. It doesn't use a lot of material. Great for a beginner. So once you got that, you want to take some chenille. Uh, I'm using cactus chenille here. And you want to just capture that in there. Wrap all the way to the eye of the hook. And we're about close enough here. We don't need right up to the edge, but definitely enough to cover most of the hook shank. All right, once we've got that, you want to make sure all these fibers are sticking straight up. Then we're going to take our synthetic fiber. Today I'm tying this in a white color, so this is going to be my white synthetic fiber. I'm going to measure out how much you're going to use. I want to use about twice as long as the hook shank, so that's about right. I'm going to double that up and cut off that amount. So now we've got double of what we'd had. And you want to make sure and separate the end here. I'm going to break this up a bit so it's not squared off taper it. All right. Then we want to tie in our fiber. And you want to use very little amount of this. As you can see, it's very wispy. You don't want a lot. Um, wrap that a couple times to hold that in place. And then we take a piece of crystal flash. And double it up on itself. Do that once more. So basically we're turning one piece of crystal flash into four. All right, we do exactly the same thing. We tie that piece of crystal flash in. Okay. Double the whole thing over on top of itself. All right. And then we're going to take more of our synthetic fiber. Make sure the ends are tapered. We obviously want to make sure it's measured out to about the same length, which it is. We tie that piece in. And then we're actually going to double that over. We're not going to tie in our flash material on this one. Okay. Then we're, we are now going to take some crystal flash. Just one piece is all you need. We're going to do the same thing. Turn one piece into four by doubling it over and then doing that once more. Tie that in on the top. Okay, cover everything up. Form a small head on this. Take your whip finisher and finish this off here. Then I'm going to take a 3D eye. You can fish this just the way it is by putting like a drop of super glue on there, but I like dressing this up a bit with an eye. It really adds to this fly. Okay. Make sure both are aligned the same. You can do that by looking at it from the front, looking at it from the top. Once they are, you can press them together real tight. Get as close as you possibly can. And I'm going to take Solares. This is a, uh, a UV curing epoxy and I'm gonna UV epoxy this in put a little drop of the epoxy on top take your bodkin and 
then make sure it's evenly distributed. Cover over a little bit onto the 3DI and make sure some of it is going back to where the materials are that you tied in. Okay, and then you want to pull the material to angle it upward. Don't need all of it, just the top part of it, and then epoxy that on. And then we're going to do the same to the bottom part of the fly. There you go. That is the glass minnow. When it gets wet, the ends will actually adhere to each other. They'll swim in the water with a fatter front end of the profile with a tapered tapered back end. They'll swim just like that. It's a very, very nice profile fly. It's also very see-through. You can see right through it, especially when it's wet. Um, and it's great at imitating small fry, glass minnows. Um, you can tie it in a number of colors. Uh, I like just white, but um, it, it works great with many colors. You could also even alternate the color, put a darker um, you know, fiber up top to give it more of like a white belly and a, you know, whatever color you want. Um, but a very versatile fly, uh, lightweight, easy to cast, 